In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform basic tasks in OpenOffice Writer. First of all, let's see the interface. Here at the top, you will see the name of the document. Right now, you can see that I have not saved the document. So it is showing untitled one. To save the document, go to the file menu and then click on save. Then choose the location and type your file name. By default, it will save your document as .odt that is OpenOffice text document. So it is the extension or the format in which your document will get saved. Or if you want to save it in another format, you can save it by clicking on this drop down menu. You can see that we have many options here and uh, there is an option for DOC that is Microsoft Word but right now I want to save it as .odt so I will not change here anything just give a name to the file and click on save. So now I want to format this text here at the top you will see some menus from which you can choose different commands and there are some commands here also which is a shortcut all commands you can see here in the menu but the most frequently used are here first of all let's format our title so select the title and click on let's say i want to change the font so i will go here and type t so it will show me all the fonts with t so I want to set this as Times New Roman and let's set the size of the font to 18 and uh, same way I want to change the font size for my text paragraph let's say 14 and for this also I will set Times New Roman. Now for the title I want to make it bold underline and center aligned so that it will look good and let's change the text color from here let's say i want to set it to blue dark blue color and after doing that let's say i want to change the margin of my page we have a page and there is this box this line you can see we can type only inside this box and this empty space that is the blank space it is a margin of the page so that much area will be left the text will not appear there okay that is the margin of the paper so i don't want to waste paper let's say i want to reduce the margin or some people want to increase the margin depending on their task so let's say I want to check what is the margin of my page right now. So I'll go to the format page and here click on the page and you can see that all the margins it is showing me. So left, right, top, bottom. Let's say I want to set all the margins to the 3 centimeter. I will just select and press 3. So you can see that it is in centimeter so i'll click on ok so now all the margins are set to three centimeter you can see that the area which will be used is reduced and here also you can see at the top it will show you that how much margin you are using so and here also okay now let's say i want to add a table so i'll press enter and go down here I want to add a table from here you can add a table if you are doing it for the first time you should go to the insert then table from the insert menu you can see you have multiple options insert picture insert file insert header footer hyperlink so whatever you want to insert you go to insert menu so I want to insert table how many columns my table should have let's say three and how many rows let's say three 
my table needs heading or not yes i need heading so i'll check this box after clicking that just click ok and you can see that we have a table and a pop-up box which has table formatting options we will see that later on first let me quickly type some text here in the table okay so i have typed the text in the table now let's say i want to align the text in the table i want the text to be in the center i'll select the table so you have to select the full table then click on center align now it is center line now what is this box here you will find multiple options let's say you want to set the border style of the table thick let's say i want this so i'll select that you can see that now it has thick border from here you can change the background color let's say i want light blue color in the background okay from here i can set the color now let's say i want to center align it vertically that means the communication should appear in the center here vertically center so i'll click here now you can see that it is vertically center aligned let's say by mistake you close this box and you want it back again so go to the view toolbars and click on table so it will appear back again let's say i want this text to be separated that is there should be space between the lines so how to do that one way is right click then click on line spacing click on double but if i don't want to do it from there i will go to the format paragraph then here line spacing double you can choose any line spacing i want double so i chose double so like this you can format your text thanks for watching see you in the next video